What is up guys, welcome to Sony Gaming. Hope you're having a great time with Elden Ring so far. If you want to help support the channel, then go ahead and hit those like and subscribe buttons and drop your questions in the comment section below. Today, we are going to be checking out Commander O'Neill, a fearsome boss found in the rotting swamps of Eastern Kaelid. This large and imposing enemy wields the Commander Standard, which is a really cool strength-based weapon with the rallying standard weapon skill boosting the damage of you and your allies by a really massive 20% and reducing your damage taken by the same amount for 30 seconds, which is incredibly powerful. O'Neill will also drop the unalloyed gold needle, which is necessary to progress the quest of Sage Gowry, along with 12,000 runes, which is nothing to be sniffed at. He can, however, be an intimidating foe to contend with, with devastating attacks that have incredibly long range along with Scarlet Rot AoE abilities that will obliterate you if you're not fast and careful. And that's not all. Commander O'Neill will summon waves of enemies that will then proceed to be buffed and healed by him, which can really make dealing with the situation incredibly cumbersome. But we're not going to be giving Commander O'Neill any quarter. Here's how to completely destroy him without ever having to take a hit, and this will completely trivialize the fight so that you can get that awesome loot quickly and easily. You'll want to spawn in the Aeonia Swamp Shore Site of Grace, which is right outside of his arena. Now the most important part of this fight is Torrent, because we're going to be contending with O'Neill's brute force by using mobility and finesse, so mount up and head on into the arena. As soon as you enter, O'Neill will begin summoning adds. You can use this opportunity to rush in and get a head start with some hits on him. I recommend a weapon that has either bleed or frost infusion, but it's not necessary, it just makes things go a little bit faster. Now, when the adds spawn, all you need to do is keep moving, as they'll pull out crossbows and start shooting. Simply weave through them and kite around the arena, giving them a whack when you go past, being careful to stay out of range of O'Neill's standard. The faster you put the adds down, the better, because when O'Neill starts buffing them, it'll take more hits to kill them, and they'll do more damage, making the margin for error much more slim. Once they're down, it's time to start working on O'Neill himself. Put some distance in, bait out his first swing, and then begin. You've seen jousting matches from TV shows and movies set in medieval England, I'm sure. Well, this is similar. You're rushing into his left side, getting a hit in, swinging around behind him, and then distancing. If you can keep up with O'Neill's attack times and cooldowns, then you don't ever need to stop. You can keep doing this, but it's recommended to take your time to make sure you don't slip up. Race into the left, hit him, curve around his back a little, leave. That little curve to the right around him is important. When O'Neill retaliates against your attack, he will turn and either thrust or sweep his standard in your direction, and the range on it is surprisingly long. You need to curve around the back slightly so that he doesn't catch you as you leave. Another option is to simply stay at range and keep bombarding the boss with spells, since he doesn't really have any really long range attacks. As long as you keep your distance, you can do this really easily and he can't do a thing. If you're fast enough with your attacks, you can stagger O'Neill as well, but I don't recommend going in for the critical, because dismounting and positioning will take too long. Just take the opportunity to get a few extra hits in while he's recovering himself. And that's how to completely trivialize the fight with O'Neill. Really easy, and once you've figured it out, you'll be running circles around him, literally. We're going to finish up now with the whole fight for you to, so you can see exactly how it's done from start to finish. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. Enjoy.